Hello, welcome to the Retro Show. I'm Bearder Mike, and we're going to be talking about my Jika, a standalone video capture card that hooks up to your TV through HDMI. So I'm going to give some kind of review, so stay tuned. All right, so this is how the story is. Um, I'm just getting over a cold. That's why I haven't made a video last week, or depending on when this video gets posted. I doubt it I'll be able to post it tonight, probably either Sunday or Monday. So, um, anyway, let's get this show on the road. So, uh, for the longest time, I've been using this. Let me see if I might as well get this in frame. I've been using this Easy Cap. I've been using it for like ever since almost the start of my show. Um, this is the second one I got because the first one broke, but the software that came with it works with this one. And I've been using it a lot. And I mentioned in some of my videos that it doesn't like the Sega Genesis. So, <coughs> sorry. Again, my cold. Um, it does the job. Like, it's not the per most perfect um, uh, video quality. But I've actually done stuff like stream with some other adapters, whatever. Stream uh, games like on my 3D6 and stream other stuff. So that's cool. Like, I'm going to still use this. For certain things however I got this this capture card like a year ago around Christmas time I think it's almost a year ago because it's coming up on Christmas it's still Halloween it hasn't come up yet and um, a couple of things that I want to mention but first of all I'm going to show you some footage so so here's some footage of Castlevania uh, I think it's this one's called Generation. This is my reproduction cart. As you can see, it's not too bad. Now, I'm going to set this up, compare it to some footage that I have from a previous video. It's not the same game, but I think you'll notice the difference. I know this is not a fair comparison. You're, fi you're comparing a $20 item versus an $80 item. But you can see right here that it has a bit of improvements where the blacks are blacker. Uh, maybe I should actually play this game on the two of them but I just don't have time because I'm not feeling very well but you can see where it's not shaky as in Master of Monsters is very the picture is very shaky uh, um, and the one Castlevania is as crisp I find it's a lot better in overall and I think I that's one of the reasons why I upgraded because I want to make sure you guys get a better picture so here's some footage of uh, my Xbox original so again, again, nothing too crazy, but it plays and it records pretty well. So here's some uh, Mario 64 action. Like, I expect these games to work. Like, the N64, the retro scene, like, if they hook up a PlayStation 1, uh, then a Super Nintendo, uh, the Sega Genesis, those kind of games, they're in the retro scene, they're well known. But because we're at the new retro show, we like to do things differently. So let's try some games that they weren't expecting. So this is loaded on my Atari Mega ST, or STE. I was really happy I got these things going. I didn't know you had to hold down the control key to play the games normally. Before, I was letting the bootloader load on the, I guess, Atari's version of DOS, and it wouldn't. a lot of the games wouldn't run or run poorly. But now I know this little trick, I'm so happy. Unfortunately, I cracked out my old Commodore 64 and discovered my A key and some other keys weren't working and also the blue screen as you can see it's all staticky and, and like bleeds and all that so I decided to crack up my old Atari XL like the picture itself is dull I would imagine that because of the old machine but it looks a lot better than the Commodore even though it's uh, technically it's this is the cheaper machine than the original 800 so I'm really happy with the actual quality here and also on the subject of Atari I decided to crack up my old 7800 and because it's an RF signal, I put it through my Pioneer into the capture card. And I'm, it's not too bad. I think it's a little bit better than the uh, EasyCaps uh, hardware, but uh, not by much. I guess another added feature is I uh, can run this separate from whatever I'm playing on my computer. Because I have HDMI in and out of the, uh, of the capture card or the external capture device, I can play this at full resolution without any software running in the background slowing it down. Also, if it decides to crash, which has happened to me, I don't lose any of the recording. So anyway, I got this from Canada Computers. So 
All well and good, it sounds like a great product. Right now it's on clearance sale, why shouldn't I get it? Well, a couple things. One, if you look under the uh, reviews, which I have, I don't know if you can see it very well, out of the box, I had to go and find the update for the firmware, and I'll put in the links below. Um, it wouldn't process, the HDMI wasn't working, there's a couple of things that was wrong, it fixed it. Unfortunately, I don't know which firmware I use, so you have to play around with that. Uh, secondly, I think the, I'm not going to move it. That's another thing, sorry. The other thing is, it's very sensitive, so if you move it sometimes, it'll lose the, the, the picture. So once you put it in space and, and let it work, don't move it. <laughs> this is a warning. A um, couple of other things where the, the actual buttons itself are very, very uh, small. So without my glasses, I had to go and like really look at them to see which one I was selecting. Or which. Other than that, for a cheap, right now under around $70 Canadian, I don't know how much that would be American, it's a pretty good deal for what you get. Also, um, uh, one thing I do want to mention is let me go into the actual let's see I'm gonna enlarge this see so make sure you see it now here's all my recordings if you noticed I did this recording today in 2016 in October if you notice all of them are like January the 1st 2014 I did I did look in the manual apparently you have to make a text file throw it into a USB pop it in and it's supposed to update it i can never get it to work it's not a deal breaker like everything else works like like you see all the files here and also this one i did with skyrim it actually marks it as this 1080p which is kind of nice also it numbers them i rename these guys but if i don't it will number them so i did 28 videos which is kind of cool again these are a little bit a little inconveniences for how much you're getting this is like the cheapest capture card that I can read other than the easy cap, which is that USB thing I showed you in the beginning of the video. So yeah, that's that's my review. So if you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down. And any videos, if you wanna give me some feedback, please leave it in the comments below. Until the next video, this is Beard and Mike, signing off.